Welcome back. No, it's been a while and I know I haven't did many live streams lately. I had gotten pretty busy and I wasn't able to do it. But I'm back on the farm and we got a few things planned for today. And stick around for the end because we're gonna go be picking up something that we bought last week on an auction. So stay tuned. But welcome back to McCaffrey Farms here on the Eastern Plains of Colorado. Let's get into it. Before we get to the video, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and drop any comments if you have any questions. I'll, I'm down to answer them. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because only about 20% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed. So I would appreciate it if you guys could help me bump that number up. But if you enjoy the channel, be sure to subscribe and let's get into it. First things first, we got it. Gotta turn that on. We're gonna be taking our semi over to Flagler. We have some aluminum rims for that will go on to the semi. And then um, we're, we were taking it over there because we need to get new tires on the semi. And since we have the aluminum rims, when they're putting new tires on, because this is the first time we've been able to do, do it since uh, we've gotten those rims. So we're gonna take the rims gonna take the truck over there once we get everything ready dad's doing water and he's feeding the calves the calves they did pretty good um, I think we even had a few groups that were on top of the sale so that's always good we just have a few smaller ones that were born a little later and didn't grow quite as much so probably gonna feed them till about March I would say um, so and towards the end of March, I don't know how far we'll go, but once it kind of warms up, uh, we'll take them to another sale and hopefully they'll do decent. But for now, we've got to open, I think we need to open this door. But we have a car trailer. It's over there. Um, we're gonna hook it up to this pickup. And then um, I think Dad said he was pretty positive one of the tires is flat so this is a car trailer i was talking about um i think there's a receiver hitch in here i believe i think this toolbox dad said it's in ah yes but these are the rims um some of them anyways i think there's more up but i think these are some of the rims that we'll be putting on like said, uh, the truck was needing new tires, so since we were taking it over there, figured it'd be better take them over and have them put the new tires on those, and that way just make the truck look a little nicer and we could actually use them. Because I believe they're all in pretty good shape still, um, just a matter of kind of getting them shined up once and uh, getting them looking a little better but I believe it is this one that dad was wanting that could have been bad um, because it drops down a lot more than the other ones and this trailer it's sometimes it can really sit on level and so dad said that one um, makes it the most level and he also thinks that is the one that has the right ball on it for this trailer. Dad did, he ended up calling me and I asked him, there are a few more in the shed. Uh, I think he took them up there at one point few days ago but I'm gonna load these ones while I'm here and then check the air pressure in the tires
I'm gonna go out on a limb and say most of these tires are flat because like this one. And I think there's another one over here. Oh, nope, just that one. Those ones still, those ones still look decent. So, gonna get some air in them and then, oh, there's, our other rims are right here. Completely forgot about it. I don't know why we brought these ones in, but here's the other ones. So, we're gonna, gonna get those aired up and be ready to go. And dad should be getting back anytime. He had to run a deal over to one of our neighbors. Um, it's actually, I think is to pay for swathing. Um, in one of my last videos, we used one of their swather because ours broke down and it looked like a kind of complicated fix and we want to get that last field done. So we borrowed his. If you want to go watch it, it'll be in the top right corner. But for now, let's get some air in these tires. All right, I got all the tires aired up, so now I'm just gonna move the pickup out of the way because Dad's gonna need to get the 4640 out. So. I'm gonna move it on the other side. I'm gonna put it back over here, just back it in. But um, this is ready to go, except for those other three rims. Um, we'll just have to load those and then we'll start everything up and um, we'll be heading to Flagler with the truck and the pickup. Dad's back, we're getting ready to go feed. I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna put the hay on and then I'm gonna go over to the corner where we have our bulls because he said the one tire that we feed in, um, they've got it kind of pushed into the fence and we're gonna need to go pull it back. So I'm gonna put the hay on, uh, the feed truck for the calves, and then while dad's feeding the calves, uh, I'm gonna head over there and do that real quick and then come back and put a little bit of hay on for the bulls. Okay, so dad's gonna go feed that to the bulls and I'm gonna get the other three rims. Then um, we'll get the uh, semi started and we'll head off to Flagler. This won't take us too long. A little bit after that, we're, we're gonna go be picking up what we bought and I'll be able to show you guys what it is. I will say, however, though, it's, it's nothing, it's not a new tractor or anything. It's not, not, not that nice of an upgrade, but it will be an upgrade from what it will be replacing. Um, so it's something we've looked into and wanted to switch to. Um, and we found it and um, no one was really bidding on it. We kind of decided that day, like dad had been, he had seen it and kind of looked at it. And then the day the sale came up and it hadn't even been bid on again. So um, we put a bid in and I think only two other times we had to bid. So we ended up getting it for $150. Um, we think it's a really good deal for what they are. And feel like even if we would have gotten it for $500, it would have been a really good deal. So we're excited to get this and um, 
won't be putting it on anytime soon. We'll have to wait until we start working on it more. But um, it is in Sydney, Nebraska. Uh, some of you might be familiar with that area from one of my last videos. We went and got tubs from Sydney, but that's where it's at. So it's pretty close to us. But yeah, I'm gonna get these loaded. We're gonna head to Flagler and then we'll go pick them up. This is what we ended up buying. Um, it came off of a 1770 16 row. And what it is, is it's just a sort of a monitor for fertilizer. Um, it'll go in through here. We're probably gonna split them eight and eight and put each on the wings. Because this, I believe he had it mounted just from what I've looked at and what I would say is he probably had it mounted in there somewhere but we would like to put it somewhere on the wings and do eight and eight but we liked it because it came with the stand we'd have to kind of change the stand a little bit and make another one but we kind of know what we'll want to do with that but we saw that and we've kind of been wanting a system like that because this is similar to, we would call this a red ball system. Oh, for those of you that know what it is, but it has the little green balls in there. And what happens is when the fertilizer goes in and fills them up and goes through the tubes, they'll be floating probably about right in there. And if they're in the middle, it means you have the good flow, correct flow. If they're too high, you have too much flow. If they're too low, you either have no flow or low flow, and you'll be able to see it for each individual row. So that's why we went with those. We've recently, we've been looking at it because what we have right now, it's something similar, but you can't see any of the liquid flowing through. So you don't really know if one's plugged or not. So before spring comes and we start planting, one of these days, I'm probably gonna end up staying home a week. And I think we're gonna try and back it in and unfold it. We'll have to move our motorcycles and stuff in the middle. But we will like to try and open it up a little bit, get the old fertilizer system off, run all that, get that set. And like I said, see exactly how we want to run it. But yeah, that's what we got. Can't be nice to get it mounted and see what it'll be like and then get it running so there's a few other things we'd like to do to the planter but we might have to wait another year so things get exciting in the next few years especially with the planter so we have a lot of things we'd like to do with it and there is a few more things dad's looking at that he'd like to buy we'll just have to see if we do we are gonna have a decent bit of work to do on this just to get it ready we need to check the gaps on the openers we had a few problems with those last year and then some of these i think there's some check valves that i've seen that help keep the pressure up and more accurately disperse the uh fertilizer I, that i've seen they've had good reviews and i've kind of talked to dad about them but in here there's there is an oil leak we'd like to get that figured out but there's something to do with row eight which i believe is that row um last year when we first started we had a zip tie break and some of the seat sensor wires and fertilizer tubes got wrapped up and we're thinking that somewhere in here that wire got pulled apart a little bit because if we remember right which I'm not sure if we do 
the rest of the season, so the entire time we used this planner, row eight never showed it was planning, and we had to keep canceling that error code. So we need to look at that, and like I said, um, we, uh, I would like to get those other check valves just because they're a little nicer than what we have on right now. And then like I said, we need to check the gaps on all of our openers to make sure they're right. Then also, we need to flip some of these tires around because they're a little older. Um, like this tire is fairly new. This tire is brand new, hasn't even really touched the ground much because that was one that we had to replace because when we got done, I was bringing it home, blew a tire. But thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you're enjoying the channel, be sure to subscribe because only about 20% of the people watch my videos are subscribed and I'd appreciate it if we bump those numbers up. But also, on Wednesdays while I'm up at college, I've been trying to do live streams. Um, sometimes I've been too busy to do them, and so the last two or three weeks I haven't. But be sure to watch for those Wednesdays nights. I do about 5 or 6 p.m. for me, but we are mountain time, so whatever time corresponds with that on Wednesday nights. But otherwise, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time. See you then.